What's going on guys? Today I bring you another Anthem video and today I want to bring you more news surrounding the new Looter Shooter by EA, a game announced at E3 and looks incredible. Really interesting to a lot of Destiny fans including myself because it's a Looter Shooter. So I will be covering the game here on my channel and all the juicy news we get before the game's release date. So if you're new around here and Anthem is what you want to see and hear about, make sure you subscribe. Now if you are unsure of what Anthem actually is, but you do like the sound of it, I seriously recommend you checking out my first video I did covering the game, which is linked at the top of the video description. Go watch that and come back here and continue on watching this video. Okay, so let's start with some of the new things we've learned about Anthem. Some from the trailers and others from EA statements. Okay, so Anthem, like The Division and Destiny, will have its very own social space. We actually see this at the very start of the trailer. This will be a place, no doubt, where we will buy weapons, trade materials, upgrade gear and so forth. More info to come on this though, as soon as I get it. The XP and leveling system we see will be much like what we get in The Division. Weapons and gear will have their very own levels before we can actually use them, I would guess. In the gameplay trailer we see a mass destruction of enemies from I'm guessing a super ability. The reward is a legendary weapon called the Jura's Wrath. We see it clearly states it's a legendary weapon and it's a level 35. Now I'm guessing within Anthem we will see the same rarity of weapons, again much like what we see in The Division. Which is a great thing, Exotic being the highest rarity of weapon I believe you can get, although The Division not being a game I spent much time on. Now I do plan on actually doing a video covering the abilities and what we know so far of the weapons, so stay tuned for that. Now moving on, and this is actually something I should have said earlier, but the actual release date of Anthem is for 2018. Now there was a little bit of confusion surrounding this because some places saying it's spring, the trailer said it's fall, all I know is it's sometime 2018. Now after we actually saw this game showcased by EA at E3 2017, I thought early 2018 was the time it would come out, but late 2018 is a little bit upsetting, I want this shit right now. But I suppose they want to get the game right, which is great, and I don't mind waiting another year to actually get the game, if that's the way it's going to be. Okay, so have a listen to what EA's Vice President had to say surrounding Anthem. EA has talked about how long it sees the Anthem project running between EA and Bioware, with comments from EA Vice President Patrick Sorderland on the Xbox Daily Show being reminiscent of how Activision talked about Destiny, a game many people expect Anthem to resemble. Anthem is a social game where you and your friends go out on quests and journeys, said Zorderland via Eurogamer. It's a game that we've been working on for almost four years now, and it's a game that once we launch it next year, will be the start of maybe a 10 year journey for us. So Anthem is a game they've already been working on for four years. There's another, at least another year in the works for them to actually work on the game. So it's gonna be a five year game with the plan of another 10 year journey, which in my opinion is great, and it shows that they wanna contend for quite a while. Now we do know this was basically the same plan for Destiny and I honestly think this is great news for both games, especially for us consumers, as they will both have competition to gain their player base. If Bungie and EA are in competition for consumers, they will be doing so for their consumers offering more and more from their games, which is a great great thing, especially for us players going out there buying and playing their games. I think it's a great thing that they plan on a 10 year journey for Anthem, I really do. Now to end the video on what could be quite interesting news is that the reports of Anthem will be set on multiple worlds. Now I don't believe this has come from an official source but it has been mentioned a few times from great and trustworthy sources and as we see towards the end of the gameplay trailer it seems as though they jump into kind of a portal thing. Are they travelling to a different planet? It seems legit to me and it's really exciting to think about. If what we saw from the gameplay trailer at E3 is just one planet we can explore with our friends, imagine the environmental spaces of other planets they include in this game. I mean, it would just be absolutely incredible. If we can travel to other worlds, earn that world's archetype of weapons and armor, earn customizations to apply to our javelin suits, I mean, that would just be incredible, it really would. And like I said, it's really exciting to think about. Now, the news on Anthem at the moment is scarce. But I will keep you guys covered on all major news that does drop. Now I will do other videos covering abilities and weapons and so forth. So stay tuned for them. And I also hope you guys enjoyed this video while you were here. If you did, leaving a like is much appreciated on my behalf. Subscribe for all the Anthem news you will need. And I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong. Knowing where we stand. I will carry on. We never 
get it right.